Hey there guys, so today I want to talk to you about what I think is going to be the best mini PC deal of 2024. And you're pretty much looking at it right here. This is the Minis Forum UM780 XTX. You might recognize it because I covered it. See, it's actually a system from last year. And while I really liked the system, it wasn't the perfect buy last year. But 2024 is proving to be drastically different, and this is starting to seem like a significantly better deal. Here's the main reason why. For 2024, AMD is just doing a refresh of their mobile parts. So what that means is that pretty much all of the mini PCs that are going to be releasing this year with AMD parts are going to be rocking refresh versions of everything that was in last year's models. The main difference between the 8000 series and the 7000 series on mobile is really just the fact that the NPU got a few more cores thrown at it. Not exactly something that I think is worth hundreds of dollars. Because at the end of the day, if you care about gaming, and this is a pretty decent gaming system, you're getting the 780M, which is the exact same iGPU that is going to be in the 8845HS and until we actually see the true next generation of iGPUs this is pretty much going to be the top of the line for the foreseeable future. Of course there are already rumors of some really high performance APUs coming so but if you're expecting them to be anywhere near the price point of a system like this, you are sorely, sorely mistaken. We're talking about something that is going to be far more high performance and far more complex to put together where they're not going to be able to just sell it to you in a system that is the same as this. This is an insanely good value right now. So even though it was my favorite mini PC that I took a look at last year, this year it seems even better because of the insane value that you get. You're getting top of the line performance for a better price. So before any new models start to come out, if you see a deal on one of these, pick it up because this is going to have some insane value. In general, it is a high performance system, it has great expandability, it has really high quality construction, and while it might have some of Mini's forum's usual gimmicks, it's nothing that deters from the actual experience of using it and everything that revolves around it is just so much better. And one of the things that I think we're going to see become significantly more important and a huge selling point in 2024 is going to be Oculink. The Oculink is a port that lets you essentially make an external PCI connection. And what this allows you to do is hook up a external graphics card and get more bandwidth than if you were using Thunderbolt. It's not exactly the perfect solution. You can't expect the full bandwidth of an X16 PCIe 4 slot, but it is a 4X slot that still gives you more bandwidth than Thunderbolt. And well, as you can see here, this system does have that port. The implementation isn't perfect. The inside of here, there are two M.2 slots, and the second slot pretty much lines up perfectly with this, and the system comes with a little adapter that you install, and that pretty much lets you have an option optional Oculink port, but you do lose that second M.2. That is kind of a pain, but the option is still there. And this is going to be one of those things where every manufacturer is going to try to get Oculink on their system as soon as possible to essentially differentiate from the previous generation. And Mini's forum, because they were so far thinking in how they would implement this, they have essentially made this an insane value because while everyone else is trying to catch up, this system's already going to be at a great price. It's going to have that Oculink port. Of course, if you don't care about external graphics cards or anything like that everything else around this package is still great and this could essentially be the stopping point where a lot of the times if you're looking at different price points where if you're looking at mini pcs at the 100 to 200 dollar range you get the level of performance of things like the n95 and 100 things like that if you just move up to the next tier that 200 to 250 to even 275 dollar tier there's a huge amount of performance to be gained there we're not even at 300 dollars yet we're talking about the difference of going between four e cores from intel to six zen 2 or zen 3 cores. there's going to be a massive uplift in performance there now from here if we spend another 50 dollars we end up starting to get more towards the territory of that 300 to 350 dollar price range and the 300 dollar range is usually the top of the line vega based apu great if you care about cpu performance but if the igpu is the thing that you care about the most well you got 
got to just jump up to the next tier, which is, of course, once we get into the RDNA 2 based iGPUs with systems that have the 6900HX or the 7735HS. These systems are going to come with usually the 680M. Now, the 680M is not that far behind the 780M in terms of performance, but there is still a noticeable gap. And so here's where things start to become a little bit harder to really judge because other factors start to come into play. What's your IO availability? What's the expansion like? Are there any extra features that you might like? And the Oculink might be a selling point here. And the great thing about it is that since it is a last year model, it's not that far off in terms of price compared to where things were last year, where you were looking at a two to three hundred dollar premium to go from the 680M systems all the way to the 780. This time around, we're looking at more around 100 to $150. And at that price difference, that Oculink starts to become a lot more enticing and the extra performance that comes from going from Zen 3 Plus to Zen 4, going from RDNA 2 to RDNA 3, being able to utilize higher speed RAM. And of course, this system has that flexibility of you either get the Oculink port or you get the second M.2. So if you care about expandability, it is nice to actually have two M.2 slots because a lot of mini PCs tend to really stick to only one. So in general, at this point, this is punching above its weight class. And I think part of that has to do with AMD kind of just disappointing everyone with essentially just a refresh. But we're at that point in technology now where things are just taking so long to evolve now and we're getting such incremental improvements. Older products start to actually retain their value a lot longer this is still a great system to buy in 2024 and i think that even towards the end of the year this is still going to be great especially as we start to see some sales on this because no matter what you're not going to find another mini pc that does better than this in terms of the cpu and igpu performance and yeah amd systems aren't the only thing in the market there is also intel and even though intel has made some great strides with their igpus at this point they still have driver issues and the biggest issue with intel mini pcs in general is that they tend to come with an insane price premium one that i think is really hard to justify when this exists because at the end of the day the best intel igpu is as good or barely beating the igpu that's here and i guarantee you you'll be able to find this for about half the price of any other intel or ultra mini pc for pretty much most of the year all in all i really just have to say this is my favorite mini pc on the market right now i think it is the best deal in 2024 and i think you might notice that the big emphasis on ai and all the marketing for everything this year should let you know that this generation of products this year is not exactly going to come with anything new or innovative it is just a refresh where they're slapping a whole lot of ai branding on it and you could avoid all the trouble of spending more money for essentially a ai logo if you just pick up one of these so definitely check it out down below i'll see you guys